son no damage. <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing in my swamp? I got you, homie. Leo and Gemini, how you doing? So all timestamps will be provided to you below if you want to skip through to Gemini afterwards. Uh, but we'll be doing Leo first. Don't forget you can watch this as an Aquarian or a Leo or a Loaf Path 8. These are the questions that are up uh, on Patreon if you are interested in your full weekly reading. But we're going to be doing you a next 48 hours. But that's just in case you are interested in what is over on Patreon for both star signs. Well, for all star signs. Um, so, thanks guys. Let's see what you've got coming up for the next 48 hours for Leo. For the next 48 hours for Leo, what is kind of going on? So, you've got judgment. Speaking or not speaking, true or false? Are they lying or are they telling the truth? This actually came up in another reading. I uh, can't remember which one, but Libra. But it can basically mean, are they lying? Are they telling the truth? Is there a beginning? Is there an ending? Have things changed? Has there been any change in any circumstance that you're in with someone? If you've been arguing quite a lot and you can never seem to get on the same page, then is this basically Elaine or Laura or Lucy or Lucifer or a Capricorn, maybe slash Gemini of being a six? But like, you know, is someone watching? Is someone spying? You know, there's a lot of questions held within here. Now, a lot of you could be into mixing, mastering, uh, mastering music, uh, singing, arts, crafts, all that sort of stuff here. But this is pretty much, are we going to continue on the way things are? Because I'm getting quite fed up with this arguing and then we're kind of breaking up. And we're not really getting on. And you're always looking on the negative side. And every time I try to do something, you look for the negative when I'm trying to be positive. You always get one, <laughs> right, which is why there's a two here. So one always tries to think positive, maybe. The other one tries to think negative, And then you get an explosion of an ending, basically. So after the tower, you definitely get this well i i've got no idea what we're doing are we talking are we not talking are we seeing each other what are the conditions and the terms of the relationship okay so like because condition is obviously like well you see things one way and i see things the other way right because you believe in that that does not mean that that's what i believe in we all know obviously belief believe life all means lie because it all spells lie so it's kind of like, are you lying to me? Are you being honest to me? Why can you not be honest with me? Why can you not talk to me about it? Why can you not talk to me face to face? Why do you need to keep text messaging me? This is this is all stuff that's kind of like hidden because it is obviously part of like the high priestess, right? Like two. So I don't know. Are things hidden from me? Are you hiding any secrets? Are you being honest? Are you not? There's a lot of analyzing energy seeming to, to be around you here, uh, Leo. Um, now this might be a visit for, to the hospital or the doctors where someone's terminally ill. Okay. It can also be someone that's either like mentally ill, physically ill. Okay. Or just like after someone's will and someone's money, unless your name is William, <laughs> but like, or Bill. Okay. But like, um, here is could be someone that's after someone's money generally. Okay, because it can be a court procedure. A lot of you are going to court, you're waiting to get divorced, separated, you've gone to court maybe, and this could be the outcome, or is it continuing on? But this might be what someone's waiting for, is to the the facts, or Felix, the facts of um, the truth here. Okay, what is going on in court? What's the outcome going to be? Okay. So for a lot of you, if there is a divorce, this is pretty much the settlement that starts to come through, okay, that you start to get word by the settlement of that, or you're just settling down to the knowing that when this is over, I can then start to begin my life, okay. I was hearing John McGinn, uh, so he, he, I know him, so he is a Piscean, uh, so unless your name is John, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. Some of you could be tarot card readers, esoteric, spiritual, you know, doing channeling and all that sort of stuff or reading cards. Uh, let's see, Leo. Uh, but still, don't forget, guys, you can watch this as an Aquarian Leo placement. Or if I say place, you say one, two, three. Could be a fish swinging on a tree. Okay. Uh, let's see. Or a life path three. So... And it can still go vice versa, you or your partner. Facing judgment, telling the truth, lying. Answering a calling. Where are you at work? Answering a calling. A spiritual one. Okay. I've been guided this way, or I am a guide. Okay. 
something drew me towards this. Andrew, Andrea, Ansfield, Abby, Abigail, Amber, Heard, like part five, Sagittarius, Taurus, being here somewhere. Um, Leo, what's going on with Leo, the next 48? So you get the two of cups. So again, man, y'all got a lot of twos. Let's have a look at the table and let's show you kind of what we've got. So there's a lot of this like, are we splitting up? Are we not distant energy? Some of you have got a metaphysical connection with someone that is not physical, meaning that you've just got an attraction to someone or they have, but I've just got an attraction to someone. I can feel they're in my energy, but they more than likely don't mind. Okay. So you, cause you'll always have like a feminine energy that's waking up on, on a masculine. Okay. But unless there's communication, then you don't know if the masculine has got a connection or not. Okay. So if that could just be like up in the air, metaphysical, not really making any sense. I've got a connection with someone I haven't told them about it or I have, and they, they, you know, they haven't really responded much or it's a new person. Okay. This is a soulmate that's willing to latch on to someone here. Um, you've got this energy also of a divorce or a settlement of divorce, and the only thing that's keeping you together is the children, okay, that you've got together. There's no relationship there. It's just children that keep this bind together, or the house or the non-divorced energy would be like, if you are divorced, children if you're waiting to get divorced the settlement of divorce okay what you get for your time of being a mother or an ex-wife or husband um for some of you if there is nothing like court or anything like that then this is where it seems like a long distant relationship and if it isn't long distance to travel it just feels like it's more of a um Oh, getting fed up with the arguments. Like, if you guys have been arguing quite a lot, right, if you been guys have been arguing, every time you have an argument, you distance yourself from one another and then wonder why people start getting fed up with the, oh, do we have to go through this again? Like, what is it now? Like, why are we arguing now? What caused this? What, what, what you know, why did you do this? Why, well, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Why, uh, right? So people eventually, they get fed up with having to keep doing that all the time. So they normally just want to go with the flow of the relationship, right? So why can't we just get on the same page, man? Why can't you just, like, do what I want you to do or be what I want you to be? And you're like, yeah, but you don't ever change. Well, okay, then, will you just be you and I'll be me and we'll just keep doing it then, <laughs> right? Because obviously people don't change. So we can spiritually, but you can still be you and I'll still be me. But every time you have an argument or you spat, I'm still going to ignore you and it will just drive us further and further apart. But why are you not so interested anymore? Because of the arguments, because of the distance, because of us not really getting on. But why do you not love me like you used to? Because you're arguing all the time that causes split up, that causes breakups, causes untrusting energy. Yeah, but I'm triggered because you, uh, yeah, triggers also. If you're going to ever get back with me, you've got to 100% forget the past. People that get triggered are normally feminine energies, and I'm not going to lie to you. Feminine energies are normally the ones that get triggered. And Oh, my God, you're going to cheat. You're going to lie. You're going to do all of this, you narc asshole prick. <laughs> right so men are normally like okay we'll do what you want right yeah not kidding what's well, a lot of the guys i know so like you know this can be where it's kind of like why are you so distant well stop having a go at me stop making me feel you know like i can't just be myself you're supposed to love me for who i am not who you can change me into and if you keep trying to change me, because it can represent, like, people used to say Scorpio, resurrection, right? But, like, there could be an erection that could be the problem, like sex could be the problem. could be ADD. If you've got ADHD, sex could be a real big problem because it will only be on the terms and the conditions of the person that has ADHD. I have ADHD. I suffer from this myself. Okay, I'm not afraid to talk about it. It doesn't bother me about sex life. You know, if you've got ADD, you know what I mean. It, you can be fully on at one point and then fully off the next. And you have to wait for your body clock and your dopamine to all start working before you feel anything at all. 
because you can feel completely numb and closed off. And you can also, according to someone, you don't, but you do. If you have ADD, you have this energy of, like, not really having so much empathy for other people. You come across as that way. Empathy is very difficult to have for someone that has ADHD because it doesn't work in their head, okay? Someone that doesn't have ADHD complained and said, oh, no, you don't. It's up to you, but I do have ADHD, so I do realise that a lot of the times that when you come across as if like you haven't got any empathy for people, why are you not showing me so much love? Why are you not more than likely having sex with me? Why do you not want it at all? Why do you want it too much? Why does everything have to be on your terms when? Because I can only do it when my body shows me or tells me that I can. You're not fighting me, you're fighting ADHD. You're fighting a mental illness. As I'm saying, someone could be ill here. <clears throat> You've not been fighting this, the person all this time. You've been fighting their actual mental illness if they're ill. And you haven't won anything. No one ever does. I don't know where this jargon comes through as, like, I'm waiting for an outcome of, like, spiritual fucking karmic justice. <laughs> what you end up is with nothing. You end up on your own or you end up, if you, like, divorced, okay? The only way you get something is by going to court and winning money from another person. But you still broke up. You still end up on your own, right? So the only thing that anybody ever wins in an argument is fuck all if you're arguing. All you win is basically being on your own, distant from your partner, okay? A disagreement that drove you apart, okay? So it's more along those lines. Now, some of you might have a, just a new person. You've just literally got a new person, and they're a new soulmate, and you're just kind of waiting to see how it goes here, okay? Let's see. Leo. What's going on with Leo for the next 48 hours? So you've got the Empress, you've got Meg Ryan. So Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan, so you've got the piece on the side. The mistress, there could be. I'm not telling all, all of you that there is. There just could be. Or you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Life Path 3. Or you could be like me. You've got Aquarius two or three times in your chart. And you're coming up in the Leo reading of eight, right? And then there's your star, star sign. Pisces, right? <clears throat> Either either way. So if there is a third party, are they lying or are they telling the truth? Do you know? Have you got enough facts or haven't you? Came up in what reading? The Pisces reading. <clears throat> okay, where people where people unsubscribed. It's up to you. <laughs> I'm just giving you your reading. Like, like, and I'm I'm honestly goddamn convinced here that people so badly want to believe in just the tarot readings that they literally are willing to give up on their relationship by what they hear in a tarot reading. And they literally go off and think, well, that's not what I want to hear, because I want to believe in what I'm hearing here without finding out the facts. So I'm just going to go off to someone else who's going to tell me what I want to hear, that they are cheating, <laughs> right? And if someone's telling me, well, they might not, well, I know I've convinced myself that they are. So I'm going to stick my heels in and convince myself that they are, and then I'm un unsubscribed from the dick that keeps telling me that they may or may not be looking for another sign of the fact that they might. <laughs> you do get people like it. Like I said, it's up to you what you want to do with your relationship. I just don't really want to split people up, in fact, in case people have been falsely accused. This is the same energy of going to court. Is it true or is it false? Are they lying or are they telling the truth? Okay, only you can know that by finding out, right, here, or the other way around, right? Suspicious minds, Jarvis, Cocker, Cockfrost, but... Um, Elvis Presley, right, left the building, left me. They just left. They walked out. Okay, they don't want to listen. They don't want to know. Now, for some of you, it's a good energy, and you've just met someone new, and the pie, and someone could have a three in their chart here. So let's see. This person could also be a mother. Okay. Oh, Leo. So, 
I mean, that's the major arcana of gaslighting energy. It doesn't have to mean that it's always Virgo, but it's it's the major arcana of being gaslit, confused. I don't know what to do, okay? I'm looking for someone that I want to be with, and that person, is it you that I'm supposed to be with? Well, only you're going to know <laughs> here. Am I some? Because I get that question from some people. Am I supposed to be with this person? Yeah, if you're with them, it's still up to you, <laughs> right? You have a choice in your life. A tarot reading can't tell you everything. Am I supposed to be with this person? If that's what you choose, yeah. Right? I can feel that energy of someone asking that question. Um, Because people, they spend a lot, they spend a long time believing that they're on the search for the one, <laughs> right? The one that you have is the one that you've got. That's the one that you've got now, right? There is no rush to life. If you're meant to be with someone else, then spirit will guide you towards someone else, right? You do not put spiritual connections together. Spirits do. Uh, let's see, um, Leo, the next 48. So you get the Ace of Cups. So there is a connection. There is a, well, there's there's like a distant one. I'll put it that way. It's like a distant relative. It, it's got its complications if you're, if you're breaking up, splitting up, getting back together, negative, positive, positive, negative. It's just like this, oh, God, I'm getting so bored right here. Like, it's just a little bit like, oh. I really do not feel like going through this again. I'm getting tired. I'm getting drained. You know, fed up. All right. So let's comp let's uh, complain them. Let's uh, clarify them and see if uh, anything else com kind of comes up. So what is judgment about for Leo and their next forty eight? Judgment for Leo. So it could be to do with a child, but it's like I'm thinking about you. Okay, text messaging again, people. I'm hearing about this quite a lot just lately where people love to argue or text all the time instead of actually talking to someone's face, like just literally just, or not even showing their face, like Felix here, you're around still, are you showing your face or not to, to this person, right, I, I, are you, because... <laughs> I've got a feeling there's also people... Sorry if I'm actually rolling the cigarette, Leo. I keep thinking that I'm doing Patreon where I'm just normally on Patreon. But, like, um, you know, this can be where I'm talking to someone online and we have an online relationship, just an online one. But lo and behold, there are quite a few people out there that have relationships via email and text messaging. They don't actually have a relationship because they actually haven't seen the person's face at all. So you can't really have a uh, you can't really have a relationship with a phone, right? Well, some people can, but like, is that what's going on here? Is this more of a relationship that someone's got with their phone than what the, what they actually do, uh, like a relationship? Sorry for that disgusting uh, old uh, ashtray, <laughs> but like, it seems here, like this message here is. Like, I am uh, I have more of a relationship with my computer or my child. Like, this is like having a some sort of, like, bond with a child here. James Bond, James, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jack, and Jasmine, Jack. But, like, a bond with my child here. Not, not a weird one, just like an unletting, like, I can't let you go, child. <laughs> right? So it could be with an ex that you've got, and you've got a child here. And you, this is the X energy, and you're still tied via the child. Now, if this is not to do with ex-husband or wife, <clears throat> and this is a new person, there you go, it's a new person. If this is the same one for a lot of you, then this is just childish shit here. This is stuff that's made this relationship end that's now beginning the same way by text messaging. I'm not exactly really talking to you that much, really, because now we're all we've gone resorted back to is like text messaging in our relationship <laughs> here. 
That's if it's an, if it's the same person that you've split up from. You've now gone back to like just dating, right? Because relationship probably hasn't worked out. So you're kind of like, well, maybe just dating is just probably worth it. I'll see you once or twice a week and that's it. Like too much time, too much energy. Obviously the relationship doesn't work. So we can either one, be friends or two, continue on, but just date. Because obviously a relationship is too much for the energy at handle, I right hear. So what's the two of cups? Oh, wow. There seems to be a lot of new energy around here watching. <laughs> this could be where your soulmate or if you've got like a, a tarot card channel, this could be where your uh, the person that you're online is watching you. This is someone from online watching. This is someone that reads tarot card readings. And this is someone that's interested in a tarot card reader or their clients. But because I'm not picking up so much of clients, I'm picking up that this is an ex that you've kind of had discrepancies with, or this is you watching the person that does tarot cards like me here. Okay. This here is someone that's answering their calling that is a tarot card reader. This is the person here. And this is the person that's trying to find out information from the person that does tarot cards. This is what's going to really fuck you up. This has fucked up many situations in my life, and I ain't going to hold back. <clears throat> Whenever I've had any kind of connection with anybody in my life, they've always watched and stalked the fuck out of my channel to try and find out what I'm talking about. And if I am coming up in a, in a, a, a reading that involves the person and then Spanish Inquisition me over what's in here to cause an argument. Stop watching tarot. Stop spying on your partner that does tarot. It, it won't work out. Trust me, it won't. But uh, here, because this is spying, right, two of cups, trying to find out what they're saying and what they're actually doing online. Okay, I want to see what they're saying and I want to see what they're doing and I want to see what they're up to. Now, whether this be an X or not, I don't know. Depends if you guys have channels, right, here, like a YouTube channel. This is where someone could have uh, or has met someone that be like a client of theirs or something here, right? Um, that they've been, well, but they're not even talking. <laughs> this is just like watching energy here to find out if this person is still around. Let me show you more closely of what I'm seeing. So this is spying, right? This is also spying, but this is more like watching and spying. And what this person here is spying on is this person here because they're looking directly at them, right? So what they're trying to do is they're trying to find out if this person has someone around them, if they're still with their partner. Are you still with your partner now? Are you with your ex or are you not with your ex? Did you reconcile? Did you not reconcile? Are you single or are you not single? I don't quite know what you are unless I ask. So I'm sort of like watching here to find out if you are still with this person. But this could be friends. These two people here could be friends that are talking about uh, <clears throat> um, a commitment here. Are they together or just about like I'm just talking to you about my relationship? here now that that's that's a few energies there but trust me if you get an ex that's watching this message they're going to misconstrue that all together and say yeah i knew you were seeing this person <laughs> here so take it as you leave it right this is either a friend a client a child okay to do with an ex or it's a new person that you're talking to but you're thinking about the majority of the time when you're going to talk to each other again or it's someone that's trying to find out if this person is still cahoots with someone of their ex or if they're single or not before I actually communicate with you to find out if you're with someone or not. So I, instead of actually asking you, I can watch Tarot, find out if you are or not, and then if you are or you're not, I can still then just decide whether I'm going to speak to you or not. 
it's very strange. Like, <laughs> as I'm saying, some people here, <clears throat> they committed that much to, like, re ruling their life via tarot reading before they actually act in life. They'll find out information via tarot before they act in life. So you can create a, a chain reaction. You'll do a Diana Ross. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not kidding you. This is the truth. You'll create a chain reaction, which means there hasn't been an action taken. Okay, you haven't actually acted upon anything. You're actually finding out information via general tarot card readings to find out what may or may not be true. I could spend an hour going over what some of this may mean here. Right, even in a personal one, it still might mean something different, right? But like, so this person, if you watch tarot and then act, okay, or never act because you're kind of like, no, I've got enough information from a reading, but I'm just not going to act at all because I've took what I've heard from 30,000 to be true, <laughs> right? So I'll create a chain reaction, which means that you're avoiding destiny, you're trying to use someone that reads destiny for you, trying not to go on the path that you're supposed to be on and fuck it up and fuck it up, <laughs> right? <laughs> People do. They, they use tarot to watch. They're supposed to go on this path. They, they fear that much about it that they just watch tarot and then gather the info and think, ah, I'm not going to bother going on that path that I'm supposed to do. Or... I'm going to, like, finish with my partner when I'm actually not supposed to be doing that because I've falsely accused them because the information that I found out has been via tarot and not the person. So I've caused harm to destiny. I've misused tarot, okay? It's true. Okay, so, you know, like I said, facts, great. Okay, but make sure that you know before you act. Okay, meaning I found something out, maybe here. Okay, what do I do about it? Act after you've seen it. Okay, if the person's told you yes, you already know. If they've told you no, there you go. You've got to believe what they're saying. And if not, you're just going to keep doing it. Trying to look for answers. Dig for more clues. <laughs> when you've probably already found it, you're going to go down the fucking Alice road. Well, we all know who the fuck is Alice, right? <laughs> Following the rabbit hole to try and find the white rabbit of where it leads. Where does it go? When does it end? <laughs> right? What's the Empress? Why is the Empress here? You know, obviously, I'm not saying that, you know, because everybody's spiritual and everybody loves watching tarot and stuff like that. Why not, right? Because you get good answers and you see what's coming up. All I'm saying to you is, is that just make sure some people that you have the facts, you have your facts right before you go accusing people of certain things and before you go ending commitments and relationships with husbands or wife, that you've not actually been falsely accusing them because of temper, and anger of not being able to change them or because they've just been a little bit like not so much around me and they've not really been showing so many signs of love and they're not like ooey gooey soft and chewy they're not really been doing all of that that doesn't always necessarily mean that a person's cheating it might mean the fact that they've got other things going on in their life that they're really a little bit distant right it doesn't mean that they're seeing another person not always okay so on top of the Empress, you get a Five of Cups in reverse, you see? Feeling down, feeling lonely, feeling upset. I don't know what to do. I feel as if I'm being rejected by this person, that they're not showing me love, that they might be interested in another person, or I've just been completely and utterly let down, the fact that I do like this person, but I've just found out that they are with another person. And because I've been turned down and told no, that they are with someone else, what do I do? Well, the relationship that they're actually in isn't going very well anyway because they're probably being questioned by their person. <clears throat> so whichever relationship it is that's here, whether it be a metaphysical one or a physical one, it's still having its complete challenges. Okay, there's a lot of breakups. There's a lot of disagreements. There's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of text messaging. 
there's a very there's a lot of like very unsure of what path or road to choose to be single alone reconcile or not reach out speak or talk or not okay seems to be a running theme at the moment so what's the hermit here for uh well this is upright because i had the whole deck in reverse so this is a person that has like Virgo and Aquarian in their chart here. Okay. Virgo and Aquarian in their chart or Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, Loaf Path 9, Loaf Path 8. Right? They're watching this energy of their mother. Their mother is not very well or their partner is not very well or they've had a right Barney with their mum. They don't get their, their – there's family karma here where their mother might be looking down – uh, this energy that's looking forward to the future, right? I'm looking more towards the future, but the future that I'm looking at is here. So I'm looking at the wrong energy, <laughs> right? I'm looking to start a future with you, but you are in the Five of Cups, maybe thinking about someone else. Or are you? Or not. <laughs> There's still no truth here. Well, this is far as you get. This is the rabbit hole. This is Alice. This is far as you get, right? It's kind of telling you, what is this person telling you, right? Are they verbally speaking out their mouth and they're saying things, okay, and that's that, okay? Or is this all just like metaphysical thinking, Ace of Cups. So you happen to have another three now. <laughs> so whichever way around it is, Leo, there's distance between couples and relationships here. A lot of distance. And it might be because someone works away a lot and they have to travel for work a lot. And it's, it's not very often that they're actually around. They're really not around that often. Okay. But it might be someone that wants like a full-time commitment and I want you to move in, but you're not moving in. They just want something more casual, okay, or Cass or Kashi or whatever, Kashi, Cassie. But like I just want something more casual, but I want something more full-term. But I don't. I want something more casual, because if I if it if it's gone this way, just by a relationship, then full term isn't going to make it any better. Having a child <laughs> isn't either going to make it any better either. Like you know, we've not been getting on very well. Let's have a child. That will sort it out. No, let's get married. No, <laughs> right here, like. It feels like that kind of reading to me, guys. Okay, so uh, like I said, if you want your reading, these are the questions that are up over on uh, Patreon that I've done for you, but they're based off a weekly reading, okay? So uh, your love life for the week, uh, thoughts and feel their thoughts about you, how do they actually think about you, how do they actually feel about you, and I'm telling you the truth, okay, whatever comes out in the cards is the truth, what happens next, okay, is there an argument or is there not? How is it resolved or is it not for a week? And then their intentions. I don't think I've done work and money because it's just it's unpredictable in tarot. There's more energies of love and ideas than what there are actual financial cards to read from. I could pull 10,000 cards and still not really get anything about money. So I just I think it's a waste of time. So uh, you get those. Okay, so thanks very much, Leo. Please make sure that you smash that like button. If you want your reading, it is over on Patreon. You need the silver or gold tip find you below. Uh, if you if you have Gemini or Capricorn or a life path six anywhere around you as your son or daughter or mother or the other person, then stick around for the Gemini reading because it will be Gemini, Capricorn, life path six because I read in numerology, but it's based off Gemini, okay? If you understand what I mean. If you don't, you're going to be completely lost. Okay? So thanks very much, guys. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the Gemini reading.
All right, time to get busy, Kimosabi. Wake up, Sarah and Swindon. Shake a leg, Ned and Notting Hill. And you there, you up north, yeah. you must swell hillbillies. And you, Harold, you out kiss of your mother with that This is Aaron B. telling y'all to crack on. Gemini way, Gemini, you might have an eye on you again. A lion, a Leo might be stalking the shit out of you. Maybe I don't know why I'm hearing that, but someone's got one eye on you. So it could be Felix or Laura, but someone's got an eye. An eye, they have one eye, one eye in my pocket. High fidelity, high. So someone has one eye here. That's good. Glad you can see out of it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying that. So someone has an eye. Very good. Or like someone has an eye on you, constantly watching you, stalking you, watching your channel, or whichever way around it is. It actually, your messages could be coming up. Uh, they have from Leo. So Leo Aquarius Life Path 8. But I'm keeping an eye on you and I'm watching you deeply, closely. Okay. Watching, spying, every movement, every move you make, every move you make, every burn you break, burn you take. I'll be watching you. So someone is stalking the shit out of someone here. I'm sorry, Gemini, but that's your message. Stalking and spying and watching. So, like I said, if you've got social media, they're watching your social media. Okay, if you're paranoid and schizophrenic, maybe, don't know, they're watching. All I just keep hearing is they're watching, they're watching, they're watching and watching and watching and watching. Unless someone has a gold watch, but they're watching. Okay, so if that message means anything to you and you're kind of like, yep, I kind of know what you mean, then there you go. Okay, that's a message for you. So, Gemini, yay! So I'm going to take this off the top of the screen here now, but they are the messages that I've been going over on Patreon. I'm going to change the work and money over to the outcome, but that is all based off the weekly stuff. They're like love life for the week, thoughts and thoughts about you for the week, feelings about you for the week, what happens next for the week, their intentions. Like, okay, it's like a vast spread, okay, and I changed them quite a lot. That's just in case you are interested. Okay, so let's now look at your next 48 hours for Gemini. What is going on with Gemini for the next 48 hours? So be careful of the information that comes out here, <laughs> okay, because it's probably someone's watching you. That's all I keep hearing. So let's see. Um, Gemini, what's going on with Gemini? with Gemini for the next 48 hours, Gemini. So you've got at home, working at home, stuck, bound, can't get out, don't want to go out, don't, can't eat, can't drink, can't smoke, what can I do? Can't seem to do anything right at the moment, so I'm just going to isolate myself away, stay in my room and stay out of every motherfucker's way. <laughs> Here, I'd rather be on my own, okay? I work on my own, I work at home, more than likely here, work from home, okay, and when I get home, I basically just go in my room and stay out of everybody's way, okay, trying to avoid people, okay, because of the, the tension and the strain that is around people, okay, so it's kind of like every time I'm around someone, around someone, do I always feel as if, like, you know, do you want to come around tonight, do you want, what is going on with my camera just lately, Dave, okay, so like, you know, do you want to come around tonight? Are you coming out tonight? Are you doing this? You're like, not really, bro. I'm washing my air. So it's kind of like that, right? I'm just, I'd rather just stay in. Okay. I've got work to do. I've got things to catch up on. I've got so much work that I just can't seem to get out of. Okay. Or I'm all up in my head and up in my mind and I can't seem to get out of this right here. It's like a contract. Okay. Work, marriage, commitment, relationship. Okay. So what's going on with Gemini for the next 48 hours with Gemini? So you get the King of Wands, Leo for me, but Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or Paradox within the numbers. Okay, obviously Aries, Four, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Okay, but like, yeah, it's kind of like I'm watching you. They're watching you. They're watching what you're doing at home. If you work from home... They're watching you. If this is your father and you're in your room, they're wondering why you're in your room all the time. Okay, every time you isolate yourself, this king of wands is wondering what you're doing when you are at home on your own. Why do you want to be at home on your own? Okay, do you want to come over? Now, if you're getting on well and there isn't any spying or watching, then this person's just wondering when you're going to come out of this eight to go towards maybe another eight. 
So this could be an Aquarian Leo placement, or if I say place, you say one, two, three, might be a fish. Okay. And then this person here also has like Leo Aquarian energies here, maybe. Okay. But it's kind of like I'm wondering what you're doing when you're at home and maybe if you want to come over tonight, okay? And if you don't, that's maybe a question that's kind of coming up, okay? So let's see. So for Gemini, next 48. So they're thinking, they're watching. Where did this card just come up through, Gemini? Through the reading that I just did before yours, which was Leo, okay? So this person here is thinking about you all of the time. They're thinking about the relationship. They're looking at the relationship all the time. That is what is on their mind. The relationship's not as stable as I'd like it to be. There is something wrong. That's the one problem that comes from the nine, okay? When it reaches a 10, it goes back to the energy of like a page. So there's the missing pentacle out of the nines, <laughs> okay? So I'm thinking all of the time about you, about what might be wrong, why you might not want to speak to me, why you might not want to talk to me. Is this relationship via text messaging or actually speaking to someone? Okay, because it could just be an online text communicating. Is this a thing, Gemini? I mean, I'm 47. I'm nearly 48. I don't get it. But as far as I know, a lot of people in life nowadays... They love to argue or discuss their relationship via text message. I can't fucking stand it, me. If I could throw my phone away, I would. If it wasn't to do with business, I would not have a phone. I wouldn't. Okay. But I have to have my phone for business, and I use it for music in a car. That's it. When it comes to text messaging, I can't stand it. I hate it. Me, I just, I do. <laughs> I don't like being distracted by my phone. If I'm with someone, I do not like being on my phone, like, like just drawn into my phone, like, hold on a minute, you're supposed to be with me, Dave. Like, you know, why are you on your phone for? <laughs> okay, just, but again, it might be where this is like texting. What are you doing tonight? Are you coming over? Now, are you washing your hair, Gemini, or are you not washing your hair? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Gemini, next 48 hours. What's going on with Gemini for the next 48? So you get the hangman. So where did Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal, which is the piece on the side or the mistress of the three, which was the empress, where did that just come up? In the same position. Okay, Leo. So this is now the hangman. It's turned from the empress, which is a three, to the hangman, which is a 12, which is a three. Okay, in the same position. So, I'm stuck with you. This is my partner. This is who I'm with. Okay. And I'm thinking about you all of the time. I'm wondering and thinking, is there anybody else around you of why when you don't see me and when you don't want to see me, if you don't, why don't you? Okay. Because this is multiplying. This is how fear starts. It's a seed that sets off in someone's mind. It starts off as this and it ends up however your reading ends up, right? But it's thinking. So let's see. Um, now, for some of you, there might be a new person that you're kind of indicating here with of a new person, and you're basically just, or they are, thinking about someone. Their kids, grandchildren, and I'm single even, okay? Or even Stephen. Let's see. Um, Gemini, next 48 hours for Gemini. I will show you the cards in a sec, Gemini. So you get the Ten of Cups, okay? The Ten of Cups and, oh, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so there is a rejected energy or Regina. Um, you got one here in the upright and one here in reverse. So it feels like that, that even if this be one guy, it's like, I'm sorry, Dave, but I am washing my hair tonight. It's like, oh, really? I was expecting that we were going to spend a bit of quality time with one another. Yeah, but I've got work to do. Okay, I'm really str I'm struggling, just like Steve is at the moment, financially, of the King of Pentacles. And because I'm struggling financially, I've got to go to work. I've got to earn some money. I've got to think of whatever I can do to earn some more money. So I've got to work late. So it's kind of like a partner that thinks about someone, wants to know what they're doing and why they're stuck at home. And why they're staying at home for the next 48 hours is because they're worried about money. King of Pentacles is worried about finances and money in reverse. 
okay, things are really not as as going as well as what I thought. Now, this could be your husband or your wife, okay? Even, like, if you're in a commitment, a relationship, or married, someone here is worried about their financial situation. They're happy, but they're still worried about things just disappearing and, like, how can I earn more, okay? So, oh, well, I'm going to be going live. Hopefully you guys might want to join <laughs> in order to get your questions and answers. But this that will be before this comes out. Um, but, yeah, the King of Pentacles is worried about financial situation, how they're going to continue on. They're trying to think about ideas that they've got. Okay, I've got an idea. I wonder if this will be more lucrative, but it might not be here. Okay. Uh, I mean, everybody's struggling now, Gemini. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but majority of people in life are struggling. And if you guys don't get money, I don't either. And a lot of other people don't either. So it's kind of like that this guy is really worrying about finances and money like a lot. This person is really in their head about this money at the moment. And they're trying to earn some extra money. This is like... I, I've got a relationship, but I don't have time for it at the moment. I might not be able to see the kids as often as I like. I might not to be able to see you as often as I like. Oh, my name's Mike, okay, or Mark. You right, Mark? But, like, you know, because I can't, I've got to work. I've got to get some more money somehow, okay? So um, let's see, Gemini, if this goes in any other kind of direction here. So... Why do we have the Eight of Swords for Gemini in the next 48? Is judgment. So where did that come up? <laughs> Leo reading. What placement? Here. Place, fish, maybe. But, yeah, judgment. Why are we distant? Why? What are you doing? The Spanish Inquisition. I need to give you a call. Where are you? At home. What are you doing? Working. Why? Because I am struggling financially. Okay, so this could be an Aquarian or a Leo that's at home on their own. They're wondering and thinking about their partner. What are they doing? Where are they going? What are they doing? If you want to know, working. Trying to earn some extra money, okay? So, now if any of you are in a third-party situation... This is obviously one in reverse and one upright, okay? But again, I told you someone is looking at that energy, and there they are again looking at here, okay, from that Leo reading. They were watching, if you see where I see two pages, and said that they're watching someone, they're watching this energy, the hangman, okay? Three. Now, it could be a client, a person, a friend, a lover, a mother, <laughs> you take it as you will. Watch the king of wands. So the sun. So again, it is Leo here. Leo Aquarian, you got eight and eight, okay? So there's an energy here of center of attention. The sun is where every single planet centers around the sun, okay? Center of attention, Okay, you're at home on my own attention. Who do I give it to? Myself and have some time to myself and on my own and let you work? Or am I going to argue with you? Depends on what comes up. But this person's at home maybe on their own, thinking about their partner, more than likely communicating with them at some point to find out what they're doing. And the King of Pentacles is going to say, working. Okay, okay. This is a true, honest reading of what tarot actually is for a lot of you. So what's the page of pentacles? Is the eight of pentacles. So again, working, thinking of an idea of what I can do to bring in maybe more clients. Okay. Because it's my living. It's what I do for a living. Okay. Me, I don't have another job. This is my job here. Some people do. Uh, me, I don't. But here, thinking about what can I do to earn some more finances or money? Okay, so what's the partner thinking? Where are they? Here, working. So let's see, the, uh, the hangman. So, yeah, they reach out, you talk. You more than likely don't live together here, Gemini. Your partner, if you're with one or you've got a fancy man or anything like that, 
I don't believe that you guys live together here. Now, if you do live together and you are husband and wife and you've got children together, then there is just, there's money problems here, money problems. And you're just, you're just carrying on with life here. So what's the 10 of cups here for, for Gemini, for the next 48? Is the 10 of wands, okay, um, working, <laughs> more work. So someone's got to work. What's the king of pentacles in reverse for, for Gemini and the next 48? So you've got the four of cups, yeah. They are concentrating on work, basically. Oh, they're not speaking or talking because they're concentrating on money. This person's got money problems and money troubles, okay, here. If you're married to this person, you might find it very difficult for them to listen. You know, I'm trying to tell you something here, but you're not listening. But like I said, if this not be a husband or a wife and this is a commitment and a relationship and someone's getting really pissed off with this king, this guy in reverse for working a lot, and that they work and they, they don't emotionally open up all the time, it's because they're a geezer, Dave. Like, how do I have to express this to feminine people? Well, you could be a, a masculine Gemini, okay? What do you think that stable individuals do? Okay, honestly, for a lot of people that may be very feminine and want a lot of loving and stuff, masculine energies work, okay? They go to work and they just tire themselves out and they think about how can I, you know, what, like, because when they get home from work, right, I'll tell you as a geezer, by the time I've finished work, right, what am I all the time thinking about? Well, some of the time I think, well, when I finish work, I'd actually like to do something that I want to do that might not be involving a partner, that might be like playing on a PS5 or making some music or watching a film that I want to watch and not have to, like, oh, okay, I'm going to have to do what you want to do and stuff like that. Sometimes, as a guy, I'm kind of like, I just want to fucking get home, put my feet up, Dave, and play on the PS5 or, make, or, or just, like, chill, right? just, like, be on my own, like, just do that. That's what this person here might just want to do. But the thing is, with this energy here, this is also my Leo card right here. So what do you have here? Well, that's what I said. Is this person wanting center of attention around this person and wondering and thinking, why is it that you keep rejecting me and not wanting to be around me when you're thinking about why you're not thinking about me? I'm supposed to be the center of the world. Like, you're, everything revolves around me, but it isn't. There are other things to life. There is work. There is money. There are other things to do. There are other things that I want to do as well. I can't see you every single night. I can't talk to you every single day. If I'm at work and I'm not messaging or talking or I'm a little bit quiet, it's probably because I'm working, right, why have you not got time to talk to me at work? Why do you need to? Time isn't fucking running out. <laughs> okay, slow down a little bit. Leo's got this in their actual reading for Patreon where it is really important to do with thoughts and feelings. But, like, you know, slow down a little bit. Stop pressuring me, okay, into, like, being any different than what I am. If I work a lot, I work a lot, and that's it. Okay, that's it. That's the, what was. What did I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of what Arnold Schwarzenegger said in the new thing that he's got up on Netflix. <laughs> but that's it, and that's all. <laughs> Throw mama from the train, right? That's it, and that's all. Okay. What are you doing? I'm at work. That's it, and that's all. Okay. Oh, you don't ever listen, Russell Deer Crow, Brandon Lee. You don't ever listen, do you? No. What are you doing? Working. Stop hassling me. What do you want to do? I don't know. Something that I want to do. Okay, but why do you not show me any feelings? Because I'm masculine, that's why. Yeah, but you're supposed to say, no, I'm not. <laughs> right? If, if you add more pressure, okay, if you keep pressuring me, I'm under enough stress as it is, keep worrying about money. If you're going to keep adding pressure and more pressure and more pressure, trust me, that is not going to help. Okay, so while well, you're ignoring me, yeah, but just find something yourself, like 
do a jigsaw puzzle or something, right? Why can't you do something without me? Why do I have to be with you to do something together? Why, like, as long as you're, like, man, because some people, they don't even have that, right? But trust me, I know some people, they have a lot of that, and they, have like, spend nearly every moment of the day with each other all the fucking time, right? And they still argue and moan because you're spending too much time with one another. Some people out there, they actually get to spend very little time with their partner, like once a week, maybe, or once a fortnight, maybe, and that's it. Now, I can kind of see a little discrepancy there, but, like, if this is over the fact that you just can't see me tonight within the next 48 hours, and I'm going to start to spat and give you more pressure because you don't want to see me at night, well, then I'm sorry, but, but you know... Some people, there's more important things in the center of the universe that all revolve around one person. There's two in a relationship. There's never just one person, unless you're banging one out, Dave, right? There's two people in a relationship, and two people in commitments and relationships have different things to do. They're busy. They have their own, okay, I'm really into this. What are you into? Crochet. That's boring as shit, Dave. What are you into? Guitars. Oh, I don't really want to sit watching you play fucking guitar all night. What are you into? PS5. Okay, what's your game? Twiglets, if that's such a game. I don't want to sit there watching you play Twiglets. I want to play fucking COD. I want to start killing someone. I don't really want to watch all of that. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> right? You don't have to. Okay, but I do. And I can only do that if I'm not with you. I can do that sort of stuff, right? So what do I need? Some some alone time, some stuff on my own. But I want some love. What? Huh? <laughs> right? So pressure resolves around a four. Scorpio or Aries or life path four. Pressure. Why are you all so busy? Why do you never give me any time? Because time is precious to me to give it to myself. Well, you are a selfish, arrogant prick. I know. I'm called Pisces. Dave, <laughs> right? That's what we're supposed to do. That's what being independent is about, because I'm a masculine man. Okay, I like time on my own. I like to be doing things that I have to, where I don't have to think about other people. I can just do it. So this person's, I don't think, if you are married to this person, you're married and you're going through the same sort of stuff here, but if you're not married to this person and you are dating them, I would find it very difficult to know if this person would get married here. I would doubt that they would get married. They wouldn't be easily tied down into a, a full-term, like, commitment of marriage. I think that would be a big step for this person. I'm not kidding you. Like, And if you are like, because you could be married, and you're bitching and moaning completely at this guy here, right? But trust me, this guy can be a girl, right? can be a masculine feminine energy okay that doesn't want bothering i don't want bothering stop leave me alone i don't compute with like feelings and emotions okay not so much as what you do all like ooey gooey just around me like oh just oh <laughs> right i don't i don't i don't really want that all the time right i just want to be you know but luckily, this is only the next 48 hours, Gemini. <laughs> You've got a bit of a hard task. This person's a man here. They're, well, they're a masculine guy. They're a geezer, right? They don't go for all of the, you know, the, oh, <laughs> right? They're a little bit sort of like ducky and divey, Dave, right? What we call it over here in Britain is like, well, you're doing, I'm seeing a man about a dog, Dave. Bit of duck and diving, a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of wee, you know, a bit of thing on the side, you know, got a bit of this, that, doing this, and got a PlayStation, Xbox, computer, music, got things to do. I fill my time up with focus, which means what? What I like to focus on, which is money, commitment, worries, stress, <laughs> you know. But whatever that is, that's what I'm going to focus on, right? Normally, feminine energies focus on masculines. What are you doing? <laughs> right, here. So... That's what you've got, Gemini. Thank you so much, as well as uh, everybody, if you're still watching. Your reading is over on Patreon, uh, your weekly reading, and they, again, are the questions that are there. It's a whole week of love life, what's going on, uh, a whole week about thoughts about you, what are their thoughts about you throughout this whole week, what are their feelings, what do they feel about you for the whole week, okay? 
Uh, what happens next is also a big reading about like what is going to happen next within your next uh, like argument or uh, stuff like that, right? Uh, the outcome to that. Uh, their intentions towards you also, whether they're playing games, mind games, whether their intentions are to get argumentative, why they get argumentative, all those sort of things are over on Patreon if you would care to join. Okay, uh, but you'll need the silver or the gold tier. I will also be going live, but that'll probably be before this comes out because I'm probably going to do it right now when I finish this reading. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much, guys. Really do appreciate it. All links are provided below. Please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. And um, I will see you on your next reading or over on Patreon.